hi everybody it's the intuitive healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius so let's go ahead and tune your energy Sagittarius All right, for those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. Thank you so much for your subscription and your donations and your time and all your love and support you give me weekly. Really appreciate you, Sagittarius. And I just wanted to let you guys know right now I am available for personal readings at this time. So if you'd like to get in on a personal reading, all my information is down there in that description box below. And before you leave, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you know when my new videos do come up. All right, Sagittarius, let's create an opening here and get this going, huh? Uh, you know what? Let me talk about this root chakra here. We got the card of number one. This is all about the root chakra and the frequency of the root chakra. Now, this is a red flower of life, which stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies as well as our physical world. So really good energy with the root chakra. Sometimes it can help creative energy. Just saying, Sagittarius. All right, let's drop into a prayer here and get moving. Ascended masters, angels, and guides, those who have crossed over, record keepers, please guide me the highest and best messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Please and thank you. Blessed be. It is done. And so it is. All right. So all these cards popping out all at once. Okay, let's get to this first one here. We have the seventh chakra archangel uriel and you know i think when we move into a space where we're really heady you know maybe the root chakra was brought in to kind of create that balance between the two you know we do have 41 and we have root chakra number one so a little bit of synchronicity there we do have adjacent possibilities so like i said here we do have you know, a little yin and yang being created in the body. And also this adjacent possibilities talks about new opportunities that are coming in, maybe unexpected opportunities that you didn't think were gonna come in. Think right now, Sagittarius, you're worried about your finances. And I think that there's a way too much anxiety going on and it's kind of blocking you from thinking about what you really need to do right now. and. We do have a lot of balance coming in. The angels are coming in and surrounding and protecting you. And they are creating the security. Woman holding a coin. This could very well be a man. For those of you male, female cross watchers who's ever tuning in, whoever this resonates with, could be a guy too, you know. There is a situation of indecision. There's two roads to take here. And when we are in a place of indecision, this is like the dual duality is the duality of what path to take as well. Gotta go inside. You got to do some soul searching here in order to understand what road to go on. Right now, the possibilities are open. There is this door to personal healing and happiness. It's going to arrive and you're going to be in a space where you can be comfortable and you don't have to be worried about stuff all the time, Sagittarius. I think that's what's going on right now. Like I said, the world is at you know your feet. The world is your oyster. You just got to play your cards right here when we are dealing with dualistic mindset it also can be yin and yang that duality the light and the dark got to deal with those dark shadows got to deal with that old energy 
it's not serving of us we do have number 22 with the yin yang card as well healer of the ages now this is a card that talks about your spiritual path and i think at this point you are really headed in the best direction possible sagittarius i think that there is possibility of something coming in that like I said, is unexpected. There's a victory around the corner here with whatever is moving in your direction. But watch your thoughts. Watch your thoughts, Sagittarius. You can't be drawn in stuff that you're like, whoa, I used to dibble dabble in that before. Look at this. Brings in toxic energy, makes you, well, puts the blocks up, right? Fourth chakra with Archangel Raphael in our heart space really have to see things clearly got caught up in love last time and that's why this root chakra is like bringing in this passion for ourselves so that we can understand that there is a sense of security we can create within our lives and you know we can have this major abundance that we're seeking out but we have to do some work first we do have number 11 all these ones see where it's flowing here go into meditation rest and rejuvenation yes all the answers that you are trying to seek right now are within again you are being challenged by this dualistic mindset you know i think we have to have answers you know we're human we make sense of things when they're kind of laid out when there's nothing planned then we get scared and fret but the universe is saying don't fret be happy the sun is here to bring in that lightened energy to dissipate all of the anxiety and all of the stuff we have the goddess of the moon and that is this major major energy that reinforces that you can do it you can get to the next level you can get past whatever's been ailing you Sagittarius let's get into some gateway cards here next and kind of see where we're sitting as far as manifesting like moving into a state of manifestation but not emotionally yet so the gateway cards are going to show us what's going on here yep embarking on a new adventure it says i savor the wonders of the world you know trying something new we always get scared and anxious so maybe that could very well be partly why you're having this anxiety rising above the stress you know i think taking some breaths really going within challenging yourself to be a better version of yourself can always help stir up the possibilities bring in that stuff that you're trying to manifest time for you to follow your heart follow your bliss be happy and joyful sometimes the universe is doing things on the sideline and you can't see it in front so you think nothing's happening but when it it is happening you're not going to see it that closely either so I think that setting yourself into new space, starting fresh and new, beginning a new journey, embarking on a new path can really allow you to subside all these feelings because you're going to be busy. Root chakra is going to help you create. I'm going to pull a couple of these cards here and then we'll get into the manifestation cards and then I will pull from my deck that I created. We have soaring in a joy, childlike wonder fills my life. So there again, asking you to be in a state of mind, which is more positive and more creative. So it's time to manifest your dreams. See what you're passionate about and move in that direction. I don't think it's gonna fail you because I truly believe that we are supposed to be doing what we are passionate about. Whatever that may be for you, Sagittarius, really sit with that and think about that for a little bit.
start reclaiming who you truly are again creating creating a new way of life and that's the feeling that i'm getting here sagittarius creating this new way of looking at things it says love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you so that is you up leveling peace comes from within do not seek it without i think you were in an unpeaceful state of mind in the past look at this take a leap of faith that's trusting the universe and you know life is art it says paint your dreams sing your songs and enjoy the dance yeah it's for me i say it's a game of life it's it's a dance too all right let's get into my cards here and see what kind of dance we're dancing all right sagittarius what are we dancing to what what beat of what drum are we dancing to why does this happen to me you got to pull yourself out of that negative mindset if you're still harboring some old feelings from the past trying to move forward can't get stuck in the past it says i can't get over this Woo. see there's a little validation there for me can't break my heart again yeah you're very guarded right now there's too much stuff you need to be protected i feel like and then here you're struggling back and forth do you still love me you need a new plan yeah these these cards are like uh-uh you got to get out of there that's a toxic space the head space to be in <clears throat> it's only going to challenge you not bring anything good look contract is done yeah you guys are done don't go back into those ugly spaces sagittarius don't do it or if you're in a current partnership don't be thinking ugly thoughts of that person that you're with love is love you got to share the love always whether you are in agreement or not sagittarius in creative mode we're going to pull some tarot here see what the universe is serving up on your platter today judgment yeah somebody's going to gain some awareness here and i think maybe it's you going to wake up and be like oh yep three of swords too much fighting too much nonsense because you're an empress energy you're not playing yeah that's good Sagittarius need to run their own lives. Look here again. We're looking at two paths, two of wands. Hard decisions to make here, Sagittarius, you know. But look, we've got the Ten of Cups. We got the Strength card. And you're clearing out some energy here. That's good. Let's get into some love cards here. You need to love yourself sagittarius it's hard you've been like not being nice to yourself but you got to find a way friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve yeah for those of you in a current partnership right now maybe some things are going to get better but for those of you that just got out of that ugly situation don't go back there okay it's like don't go back into <clears throat> the quicksand you're gonna get sucked in it says give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires secret admirer somebody's looking at you over there Sagittarius it says someone has deeper feelings for for you then they're letting on and last card out it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself now if you want to go into more of a personal reading here sagittarius all my information is down there in that description box below on how to book a reading and if you like the video please give it a like share it and subscribe to the channel make sure that you hit that red subscription button so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up all right sagittarius thank you so much for allowing me to do your video namaste